Hello, hello everyone. This is me again, the Metaverse Explorer, back with another interview, this time with another Solana Convergence Serum and Wormhole Hackathon entrance. Oh my God, that's a lot to say, isn't it? So we have the team from Actual Avery. They are, already have a working product on BSE. They have a token on Ethereum. I want to find out more about these guys. And we have a few of their team members here. We have um, uh, Pachong, uh, uh, Leela, Lertuk, uh, Tribodi, and Pat as well. So uh, how are you guys going, uh, Pat? Hi, good. Thanks for having us here. No problem, man. Uh, Tribodi, how are you going? Maybe Leila, how are you going? Yeah, nice. Nice to meet you. Nice oh. to meet you too, man. And Pachong, thanks for joining us. Hi, yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. So uh, we'll get right into it. Uh, so maybe, Pat, you can give us a small introduction to the team you have here. And then maybe after that, uh, kind of what product you're trying to build on Solana at the moment or what product you already have and what are you trying to bring to the Solana ecosystem? Awesome. Uh, thank you. Uh, so we are Evinet. Uh, we are a pro uh, project that our mission is to bring is to bridge CD to build a CD5 ecosystem, right? So um, we're trying to build a product for this year is to bridge uh, basically more institutional, more deep C5 assets, more in investors into the DeFi world. Um, so from Grow Convergence, um, what we're trying to build here is an API that would allow for bots uh, either from uh, retail or institutional investors to connect to 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 trade uh, on on Serum. Nice. Uh, the other part that we're building on top of this API is basically a bot that would act as a order execute of last resort. So if you see a lot of the Serum order book, uh, you see that uh, there's a lack of liquidity. So if you put an order in, there's no guarantee that that order could be executed. So ex ex essentially, this bot, uh, which, or we'll, which we'll build ourselves, would act as a executor of that order right on man um so and i'm actually looking at the website now i can see you guys have a whole bunch of products that you actually do already have or you want to release you have synthetic assets features and options mutuals index a launch pad as well portfolio management you guys are going for the whole thing yes so actually um you know we we're, we're, we were already building a product uh we were trying to uh, aim to launch <laughs> towards the end of Q1, early Q2. Yeah. Uh, and then we came across convergence and we've decided to uh, submit part of the function that would work because there's a lot of different pieces that we're building to, yep. to, to build together, right? And then what we're trying to launch first is essentially what I like to, the analogy is like an incubation uh, accelerator for token projects. Cool. Maybe we can uh, talk about which, that a bit more, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so can you tell us about this uh, incubation launch project? Launch yeah, so, so, you know, as a token project ourselves, right, we see the issue with new token projects where, you know, you can go through uh, an idea, a decentralized IDO or auctions, uh, places like Copper Launch. Um, but essentially, project goes through that. And then afterwards, there's a lag time of when that to those tokens can be traded yep. on an order book style because it needs to still go through centralized exchange to list their tokens. That's true. And that process itself can take a while, uh, you know, for, for it to be launched. So we see ourselves as building sort of the next step area after you go through an IDO or an auction where we provide a similar experience to a centralized exchange, but allow the community to trade on the decks on top of Serum. Right, so so you're going to be allowing people to trade their unlocked kind of tokens uh, uh, liquid in a liquid manner, so they can just tr trade back and forth between each other. Is that what my yes, understanding correctly. is? Yes, correctly. So for traders, they can get access to trading the tokens that they've been following uh, much quicker, yep. uh, and without having to go through sort of a you know opening a new account, transferring funds in. Uh, they can trade from their you know their wallets uh, that they already control on a Dex style format. For token projects, you know, it allows them to basically allow for trading to happen. Uh, they could potentially get more liquidity, uh, build trading volume for when they want to get listed at a you know exchange like FTX or Binance or Coinbase. Oh, right on, right on. 
Um, and I'm looking at your team here. Uh, I'm just on your website as well. We can see your roadmap here, very uh, extensive roadmap here. And you've actually built a whole bunch of stuff already, which is very impressive. You've got a test net up already. And you've got the launch pad already, which is pretty awesome. I see your team and we're talking to a few of you guys here and you have a few advisors as well. Can you talk to us very generally about uh, your partner network and then maybe after that your token that already exists on uh, Ethereum ERC20 and also BSE? Yeah, so we've backed by a few different um, institutions here in Asia. So um, some I'll go through some of them. So you know we are backed by the traditional one like UOB Bank, uh, CP Group in Thailand, uh, Hanwha in Korea, uh, Uni President in Taiwan, Hashkey. Uh, but we also have a strong sort of technical partnerships and advisor um, like from Stellar Foundation. Uh, from uh, Kyber Networks, who we built, sort of use some of the technology together for our DEX, which is long on BSC. Um, but all of this is to help us, you know, establish that the goal that we're trying to do, which is to bring to bridge between the CFI world and the DeFi world. Yeah, bringing like kind of the Web two movement to the Web three movement, which is what uh, a lot of people have been wanting recently. Um, what about your token? So tell us about your token. I can see the token model here. You have uh, it's on ERC and it's on uh, BSE at the moment. What's the underlying utility? So when you guys do uh, end up uh, going to mainnet, you know you have a full working launchpad. What what do I need to use the every token for? Yeah. So the every token is a utility token. It's a native for our uh, intended mainnet, which is yet uh, which is not launched yet. Uh, but it's also a use for all of our dApps as sort of rewards and you know, what you pay as a fee for our dApps. Right on. Okay. And I can see there's a few other uh, things here that you guys have listed. Awesome. Um, so I understand the problem that you guys are trying to solve and, it, and you have other um, kind of uh, initiatives that you're trying to go for as well. So maybe Tripod or Leela, you guys can talk a bit more about every token. Um, any specific items as to why we should be using you? Uh, why why should retail be giving? Um... Well, I think every, like every right, it means everything, right? So the, the the intention here is to create have like a infrastructure that um that uh, multiple DApp can be on yep. that allowing for cross chain liquidity, allowing for any token to be traded in a highly liquid manner and permissionless. Right, so well, so we what we what we want to build is kind of like able to you know get as you mentioned Web 2.0 to enter into Web 3.0 by having kind of like a real bridge for institutional to come in through the um, institutional wallet that we're currently building, as well as connect to for example institutional custodian like big name like Metrics Sport who are already our partner, yes. and 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 for the liquidity part allowing people to have asset on BSC, have asset on Ethereum, have asset on Stellar to be traded on the wonderful Dex that we are building on top of Serum here, which is um the pro which is the project that I mentioned. And the idea here is that anyone can just trade permissionless, any token can be list, and they can have like very highly liquid manner. We also gonna have like a um, perpetual product on top, lending borrowing on top. So from day one you can have kind of like a one stop shop of highly liquid and all the needed centralized feature to be here for your project to really, you know, reap its full potential without the need to, you know, need permission for anyone to live elsewhere. Right on. It sounds like you guys are like get a, have a really good vision of the future of what you want to provide. Now you mentioned a few things there. So you you're, you're saying that uh, where anyone can come and trade their their tokens. So this is kind of like a permissionless market. Are you guys it, speaking of security? I see you guys already do have some uh, audits going across as well. Slow miss, peck shield, inspects. But I want to find out: is this a permissionless kind of uh, uh, market that people I can just come and trade whatever token I want, or there'll be some kind of white labeling? Okay, so this is a permissionless market yeah. that, that we are saying, but but the part is very interesting here, right? Even though it's permissionless, we are exploring an ability to connect to, let's say, a famous institutional custodial provider, and that allowing basically the institutional user to lock the asset on the um, on the custodian, but yeah. having the credit to trade permissionless here. The idea here is that. Even though we are permissionless, we'll connect to people that act like a ticket office that do KYB or KYC on the user. So the idea here is that actually bridging the real CD5 by answering, um, by answering in the way that, look, we still connect to certain um, KYC, KYB provider, and it could be done on their end as a ticket office. But when it's done, they can connect to us 
in a seamless manner. Or any retail user who already used to use the DEX can also connect it right away with, with our product. But we also provide kind of like a ticket office gateway. If they need to off-ramp, they can off-ramp it in the in, in kind of like a right way to do it as well. Awesome. Okay. Sounds good. You guys have kind of thought of everything. Um, so I wonder, this this is a whole, like, um, this sounds difficult from a retail point of view. Has this been difficult for you? Do you have any devs or uh, technicians here that can tell us how difficult either the integration into Solana or Serum has been bringing the conversation back to your uh, wormhole, um, your hackathon submission? Um, unfortunately, we can't get our um, tech in, but, you know, yep. I think in terms of the uh, the challenges that we have, um, you know, it's is how to you know, balance between security and ease of use, right? So, yeah. you know, we, you know, we are luckily backed by very smart people. Our CTO, uh, Muharram, who's on his call, uh, you know, had a extensive uh, career in blockchain and experience. Uh, he worked at Kraken before. He was a CTO of Signum Bank in Switzerland. Uh, so we come from a standpoint where a lot of things can be solved and can be built. But how do we balance between what can be built and what's best to to match the problem here? Right on. Can you can you give me like some specific examples of this at all? Yeah. For example, uh, right now, uh, for in in term of the user aspect, uh, sometimes yeah. we would we don't want to move around our asset from chain to another chain, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, what we we are going uh, trying to do is that. Uh, we would like to have the cross chain index where people just keep the asset in in their chains, and then uh, we can mint the credit for them to trade in the Solana chain. Right. Uh, okay. So you'll be yeah. locking their tokens, and then they'll be able to go freely in Solana. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, awesome. Awesome. Uh, what's what's made one, it? One, um, um, one yeah. thing I want to highlight, sure. which is the key technical difficulty here, right? As you are aware, that typically on the centralized chain, it's an omnibus account. And typically, a trader will plug in the API, and it can trade like 10,000 10, 10, transactions a day, right? Like yep. seamlessly. With DEX, right, you have to basically plug in your ledger every time you need to be signed on yeah. to trade, right? The real innovation here is, and it's our secret thought, that we have figured out a technology that you can basically use the hardware to sign on once and able to create this high-frequency trading. And this is our secret sauce that allowing, you know, like, these um, high frequency 10,000 transactions a day uh, bot trading to happen on the DEX. And I think this is like a, the, the real technical breakthrough uh, for this project. Yeah, I, I would totally agree there. And I think you're, you guys are coming onto the right chain if you're looking for 10,000 TPS and for high frequency traders to go. And this is what Solana is trying to aim to be. Um, right on. That's awesome, man. Um, so keep an eye on time. We're at the 13 minute mark at the moment. Um, thank you guys for uh, uh, talking to me once again. I want to talk about what the kind of uh, what where you guys are at at the moment. Uh, you haven't submitted to Serum at the moment uh, to the Solana Convergence Hackathon. Um, you guys will be submitting very soon. What's the uh, middle stage? What's the next steps after you've submitted? And then after that, what's the end stage vision for um, every every net? Yeah. So we were building uh, sort of a I would say a our beta project, our a beta version of it uh, to be launched sort of early Q2, yep. uh, and then we came across Convergence, so we decided to submit um, mm. parts of what we're trying to build here uh, that fits in uh, for the Convergence mm -hmm. Hackathon. Yep. Uh, so we will be submitting it uh, right on deadline day, so on mm. Monday, uh, our video and the name of the project. So, and we'll, it'll be called Floodgate. Floodgate. Uh, so keep an eye out. Yep, keep yeah. an eye out for that one. Um, but essentially, in terms of timeline, you know, we... We're, we're building something uh, that would launch, you know, in early Q2 that would focusing on serving token projects and their, and their community. Uh, and then going forward, we'll try to focus more on increasing the speed of execution, the throughput, and also the cross-chain and derivative uh, and perpetual products. Awesome. Um, that's, that's like... To be honest, from a retail's perspective, I might not be using this product very very often, but I can see the institutional appeal that you guys might have there. And, and it's pretty, pretty incredible so far. Um, I wonder, do you guys have any last words? We'll start thinking about closing it off. Uh, Tribodi um, or Pachong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think like um, toward, I think like uh, Q3, Q4, uh, for the retail user, you can think of us as like, you know, 
uh, uh, Binance or FTX on DEX, right? So, so nice. it's a place where you don't, even though you don't understand perpetual, can trade spot um, whenever you know there's a hot new token coming in that are popular. It yep. will be trading here, and you can like enter it even before it listed on Binance, FTX, and other you know like tier one machine. So I think for for retail, uh, watch out for our launch. This will be um, a new place for you to trade seamlessly, permissionless, and you know like um, it, it it will be the same experience as central chain, but putting it in the Dex infrastructure. So it should be very exciting for you all. Yeah. yeah, I think from from like speaking again from retail, that sounds like super exciting for me to be able to trade like a token that hasn't yet listed on a centralized exchange. That's a very powerful tool because we, we all know once it gets onto centralized exchange, all the big boys start playing on it now, and some of the retail get a bit a bit uh, chopped out of the equation. But that's very powerful, um, and I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys are able to build on Solana as well. And I'm going to be looking out for Floodgate. Um, yeah, a any last uh, any last words, uh, Leela? Maybe Puchong. Actually, there's just the last thing, you know, we're, 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 obviously there's a lot of information to go through. Uh, we'll be releasing more information through our media, yep. our Medium, our Twitter. Um, so if anybody's interested, please join our Discord uh, and I'll share the link uh, with, with you. Yeah, I'll have the link if you're watching on YouTube at the moment. You can see the link down in the description. This is their Twitter at the moment, uh, every net, at every network um, on Twitter. And they've got about 54,000 followers. You can get to their website, everynet.io, and we're looking at that at the moment. And then look out for the Floodgate submission on this Serum and Solana uh, Convergence Hackathon. Um, I think we'll end it there. Uh, gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, Pat uh, Traberti. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Leela, thank you. Uh, Puchong, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, good. Uh, so once again, this has been Metaverse Explorer. Uh, watch out for their floodgate submission on the Solana Hackathon. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you very, very soon. Ciao.